It's a ballet full of variations. They are technically challenging, but uh, they are all beautiful. So many wonderful ones and so much wonderful music. I would say one of the most iconic is the scarf variation in Act Two. I think it's beautiful. The scarf adds just this beautiful sort of soft dimension. It's complemented by the harp music. I just think it's really perfect. Ну, конечно, на мой взгляд, самое красивое место в этом спектакле это вариации Раймонды в последнем акте. Очень красивая музыка, мелодичная. Она раскрывает, хотя спектакль этот чарующая музыка для балерины большая возможность раскрыть и технический свой талант и душевный талант. That's the beauty that Tamara has kept as close as possible as to the original petit bar variations done for Raimonda. This beautiful solos for Henriette, really beautiful, funny, um, smart solos. There are variations that I actually have very close to my heart. The variation that, to me, almost define the, the whole ballet is John de Bryan's variations in the first act, but the adagio in the middle of the dream. It's a wonderful piece of choreographic poetry. It's also difficult technically, but it's amazingly poetic. The solos for John de Bryan um, are really challenging. He has three. There is Bernard and Berenguer also have to add the four gentlemen in Act Three have the famous dance where they all have to do multiple turn layers. There's just endless dancing in this production. Every variation in this ballet should be watched within the context of the plot line. The music by Glasunov makes the choreography. It like infuses it with a fantastic feeling. <laughs>